Good morning. My name is Michael. I'm a senior at Bryan Station High School, and in just a few short weeks, I'll be graduating. I imagine what it must have been like for little five-year-old me to head to kindergarten for the first time. I don't exactly remember, but it was probably exciting. It was new. It was an adventure. Mm -mm. It was terrifying. I mean, what was I supposed to do without my mom or my dad? Sure, I had Zach, but he's Zach, and he'd be in different classes. Kindergarten happened, school happened, I guess I survived. I'm, I'm here now. Transitions happened. Every time I would feel like I would grow, I'd be at fifth grade, I'd be at the top of the pack, and then, like, no, you're in sixth grade again. You're at the bottom, you don't, there's that transition from elementary to middle, and then again from middle to high school, where it's, I mean, it's exciting, but again, it's the scariest thing in the world. The, the whole time that I've been growing up, everything around me has been changing. The people I hang out with, the things I do after school, the things I'm interested in, the music I listen to, but I like to think that what's helped me to define me is not what's changed, but what has stayed the same. There are certain things that are constant, my family for one, and then there's this community here at Second, that no matter how long it's been, or no matter what's going on in my life, I can come here and see a smile. There are people always wanting to support. I'm comfortably being myself here. I know that wherever I look, everybody's going to help. I can come here and strengthen my faith, my faith to develop my sense of self. The sense of security that comes from those around me gives me the ability to express myself. Just a few years ago, I would have never had the courage to come up here in front of more than 10 people and speak. But after growing up and living in a community where people are supportive no matter what, I just wanted to come out and say thank you. I've learned so much and I'm so thankful for everything. Now there's no way I would come up here and not talk about music. I started playing the clarinet back when I was in fifth grade. I was insecure as you could get. I mean, I was a guy and I was playing clarinet. Back then, the only thing anybody associated with clarinet was Squidward, it was SpongeBob, that was me. Well, time went on, fifth grade passed, I didn't quit, sixth grade passed, I didn't quit. And after so long of playing it and not knowing why I played it, I um, started to realize that people liked it. I mean, it gave me the courage to go out and join different ensembles, play in different groups, get to experience this thing that is music, and I fell in love with it. I believe it defines who I am, and it's because of those around me. Again, I can come back to a place like this, or a place like my home, and have a group of people, or a community, that believe in me, no matter what, even if I'm a guy and I play clarinet. I imagine, Going to high school, music, I wasn't sure if I wanted to continue music. But now that I've stuck with it, it's really become kind of a, a thing. This fall, I'll be attending the University of Kentucky and majoring in music education in hopes that maybe one day I'll be able to look at that kid 
playing clarinet or any instrument and give them the courage to, to continue and have faith. I can gratefully say that I'm here right now and I am who I am thanks to everybody who's helped me along the way. Thank you.